We are back for another lab, and in this video, we're going to investigate some more reactions of metals with water. In our last video, we looked at reactions of lithium, sodium, and potassium with water, and they're members of group one, which are called the alkali metals. In this video, we will investigate three more metals, magnesium and calcium, which are part of group two, or the alkaline earth metals, and aluminum, which is part of group three. The reaction mixture in this lab is very similar to our last demos. We'll take a small sample of the metal. We'll put that in a petri dish of distilled water with a few drops of the acid base indicator phenolphthalein to see if there's a color change when the pH of the water goes basic. Let's quickly review the instructions for today's lab. First, watch the videos of the demos and record your observations. For this lab, we've provided a data table to help you organize your lab notes and practice using a table for qualitative data. At the end of the lab are a set of post-lab questions. Answer those when you're finished recording your observations. When you're done, submit your lab notes and your answers to the post-lab questions according to the instructions on MyCSUS. Before we see the reactions, let's talk quickly about our driving questions for this lab. First, how can we use electron configurations to explain some of our observations and periodic trends that we've been seeing in our labs? And second, in what ways do our observations match the data for these periodic trends? And in what ways do our observations not match these data? Enjoy the reactions and the music. First up is magnesium. I'm going to fill the petri dish with distilled water. Here's the magnesium ribbon that we will add to our petri dish with distilled water. After it's had enough time to react, we're going to add a couple drops of phenolphthalein to see if there's a color change due to a change in pH. Take a moment to pause the video and record your observations in the data table. Up next is aluminum. We're going to use a similar setup to our magnesium test. Fill this petri dish with some distilled water. Take a look at our aluminum metal before we add it to the water. And after it's had some time to react, we'll add some phenolphthalein to see if there was a change in pH.
take a moment to pause the video and record your observations in the data table. The last metal for this lab is calcium. We're using the same setup with a petri dish and distilled water. Here is our calcium metal. After the calcium is finished reacting, I add a drop of phenolphthalein to see if there's a change in pH. Forward your observations and go answer the post-lab questions.